is a great surface embellishment for any project. To start with, you're going to need a, a cording foot, and there are three of them. This is the three groove. There's also a five and seven. All three of them are optional. What I've done is I've placed a decorative thread in each one of these grooves, and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place that uh, onto my machine, attaching that presser foot. Uh, the other thing that I did was I find a little easier is at the beginning, I actually tied all three of them in a knot together. If you had five, you do the same thing and the same thing with seven. That allows me to um, hang on to those cords a little easier. And you don't have to use three cords. I could have used two cords if I had wanted to. The next thing comes to stitch selection. And actually, if we look at our stitch chart, there are a couple of stitches that we can use. And actually, I wanna use stitch number D. And this is under that green setting, which means we're going to adjust our stitch length dial to uh, our SS setting. So let's go ahead and let's turn our stitch selector dial to actually to D. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna adjust our stitch length to that SS setting. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and place our fabric underneath our presser foot. Again, it's a surface embellishment. So what happens is, is these cords will be attached to the surface of our fabric. And I'm gonna hang on to the threads on the back side, and we're just gonna go ahead and stitch. And what's happening as we're stitching is those the needle thread is catching those decorative threads, holding them in place. I actually think I wanna take that length out just a little bit on that stitch length to adjust that. And to do that with a stretch stitch, it's all these tiny little dots all the way to number four. So now that that stretch stitch or the stitch is a little bit longer, I think it's a little bit more um, attractive. And rather than sewing straight, it's real easy because you have this cord guide holding these cords in place as you're stitching. I can put a little curve in here, making this uh, wind around the bend, so to speak. So as I'm coming around here, you can take a look at what our work is. And I might wanna go ahead and just shorten that up just a little bit. I think I got a little long with my stitch length there. Let's go ahead and come to the end of my stitching and we'll take a look and see what our decorative um, our decorative embellishment looks like. Well, now again, we're at the end. We're gonna go ahead and take our needle out of the fabric, raise our presser foot. We're gonna pull our threads clear of the foot and go ahead and cut our needle thread. And here is our beautiful embellished cords or decorative threads to our fabric, giving us that great surface embellishment. This was the standard as uh, length for that stitch. And as you can see, when I lengthened it out, I got a completely different look to how that stitch looked and how it attached those cords. So you can see how using the cording foot and a decorative stitch along with decorative threads on the Baby Lock Zest creates the perfect surface embellishment.